I'm back. Yeah, time for some reviews. In 2015, here we go. Ha <laughs> ha Maria, where's my pants? Welcome back, my love TCL, Scorpion72. Today we're going to be reviewing the next figure in the Evolve Wave. Um, uh, figure number three is Hank. So, like most video games, crews, movies, and stuff, they always got an old guy with experience. He's probably one of those tough, <laughs> tough talking guys. And it looks like they haven't disappointed with this guy, if that's his character. Um, just at first glance, as you can see, you know, he comes in window box packaging, but also uh, you can see he's got these leg type um, braces. Uh, looks kind of mechanical feet from, the, from what I can see from the packaging. I won't know for sure when I open it, but. Um, yeah, it looks he looks pretty cool. Looks at like somebody who's like you know been fighting for a bit. And what's even more interesting is that he has a cigarette hanging out of his mouth or a cigar, which for some company, toy comp other toy companies, that's a big no no, and they won't be able to sell this figure. So one, just wondering this figure. I got this figure from um, my figures from um, a com local comic book shop. So one of these gonna make mass market. And regular stores or Toys R Us and stuff like that. I guess um, you fans out there will have to let me know. Uh, of course, I'll be checking my local Toys R Us and Walmart to see if these guys show up. But I highly doubt it. Most likely, they'll probably either show up in comic book shops and or video game stores. As before, you can see inside from the side window view, from the window packaging. The other side shows you the silhouette of the character in the circle with the forest background. And at the back, they show you the gang all about ready to fight the big bad uh, Goliath, which is in this seri uh, series. So, let's take a look at this guy here and see what he's all about and see what the extra accessories he comes with. Oh, I will note before I do is that it doesn't seem like his accessory matches what you see here in the back which is very interesting um, this is the Hank right here and if you see this gun you see how long the gun is and the, the firearm that he had he's holding there in the picture now when you so uh, you see this here is this gun here doesn't match what you see in the back so unless there's something inside the package that connects to this or there's a gun somewhere that I can't see just by looking upon the package I won't know until I open it all right we're TCLs we're taking a look at Evolve um, from Legacy Collection from Funko and um, we're taking a look at the third figure in this wave and it is Hank, and he's one of my favorites, but kind of problematic at the same time. And I'll explain why. First, we're going to take a look at just the sculpting. Now, it seems that the more down for the, out of all the figures, he's got the best sculpt detail, I have to say. I love the way that they did the hat, the, the goggles on top, the headphones, it's got the little wire there. He's got a cigar coming out. His beard is well sculpted. He even has like these designs, some the little thing on the back of his hat. His jet pack is kind of unique. He has a, like a, some kind of, I don't even know what it's called, but he's got like boosters here. He's got boosters here. Um, he's got like these, a lot of them do all have these like headlights there or um, flashlights hooked on. Uh, he's got these like, uh, it's like a uh, <laughs> Stone Cold Steve Austin um, uh, leg braces. Um, there's a lovely tattoo, which is funny because at first I thought it was um, Vigilante, BC Vigilante Cowboy, but actually it is 
it's it's a it's a tattoo of a of a lady <laughs> in, a, in a cowboy hat and long boots. So it's just funny because at first I was like, wait a minute, that's that guy. <laughs> um, playing cards on the side. So you think this guy's like a gambler. Uh, he keeps like a or he he has a lucky card. It's a queen, queen of hearts. So this is his lucky card. He keeps strapped to his side. Um, he comes with a lot of pouches. Uh, overall, man, he's just listening to tunes. I guess when he's fighting the bad guys and going through the going through the forest or the levels or whatever of the planet. And it's just really cool. A lot of them all have these um, sculpted detail of the boots. Um, forgot to mention that in a few of my other videos. And, well, yeah, I think pretty much all of them have this like detail so you have a good grip when you're standing up. Now, uh, the problematic parts. So, his head's in a ball joint, but it's kind of hindered due to the beard and the hat and the cord. His shoulders can go fairly up, upwards, um, swivel at the elbows like all the rest of the figures. He does have a swivel on the upper chest, but it is hard to move. I tried to move it earlier just a bit and I heard a little crack and I stopped and it's still, it's still on, but like I said, he's really well sculpted and everything and I can't move his upper chest. So I'm going to have to do that hot water trick. Um, the other thing about this figure is the leg articulation. He can move forward quite a bit. He can't really spread his legs outwards. But he can move kind of forward because this is kind of like um, underneath the, the metal part here. Now these parts here attach. And it's supposed to coincide. And yeah, this is exactly what happened when I did this to mine. Now, it's not broken, it's just that it completely came out of the socket. So this is one of the issues with some of these figures that I have run into um, in the past. But this one really caught me by surprise. It can be fixed, you know, all it needs is some glue. I guess the glue wasn't strong enough and somebody forgot to apply it. So this might just be a case with my figure. So it is supposed to bend at the knee, and it's supposed to the the, the brace is supposed to coincide with um, it's bending at the knee. So right now I can't bend this one because as you saw the leg just came out, and the other one seems to be really stiff. So he really is going to require some uh, um, gentle articulation movement. <laughs> I put it that way. Um, he has ankle rockers as well, a bit swivel in the front of um, these back jetpacks kind of hinder that for him to move them in, uh, any further back. Um, I do like the way they have like the weathering on the metal to show that he's had this jetpack for a while. You can see the little silver parts there in his boots, the silver rubbing off there from the, the yellow uh, on the back. So he's had this jetpack for quite a time. It's probably like a custom made jetpack. Now, like on the packaging, as I mentioned, he has this long, big, like powerful gun. So I looked on the package and this is what we got. Don't know what happened. I have no idea what this is. Uh, it's got two handles with like triggers here at the top. Um, it's maybe one of those old-fashioned picture takers or something. I have no idea, but it's definitely not the gun. It does not move or transform. It's very just like a PCV uh, piece of plastic. And yeah, I I would love to have that gun that they show you him in the in the back of the packaging, but that is not the case. Um, nevertheless, it does fit in nicely. So maybe some kind of. Um, <clears throat> updated version of his weapon who knows he might be a weapon smith but like I said it really doesn't say much or not sure what it does maybe it's uh, you know iPhone uh, 13 or 14 in the future who knows so use your imagination as to what you want to make it do or maybe it's just a mega blaster like a, a uh, 
proton grenade launcher type thing or proton blaster you know you see a flash here and wherever he's pointing at kaboom so overall um this figure is really well sculpted paint apps again Funko's up in their game and the paint apps i just just love it the way they have this paint apps and all on this figure here for hank um should be available at online retailers and specialty shops um so you should be able to find them they're just now um, coming out are being released um but yeah there's uh five figures in the series and as i mentioned i believe i mentioned he's number three so there's two more left to go <laughs> and yeah it's this one is definitely my favorite even though the little minor issues here that i'm sure i can fix um he's definitely a cool figure maybe i have a spare gun from another um series or something my weapons uh weapons bin that i can give to him on top of that with this one to make it even really cool but yeah uh, I'm very, I'm happy with this one, except for the leg falling out thing. That's not cool. Use more glue. Don't be cheap on the glue. All right. So, um, like, comment, subscribe. Um, stay tuned for the next two videos of the next two figures in this wave. And until next time, hello TCL Scorpion seventy two signing off. Telling you, keep playing, even if it's this game. Keep playing. <laughs> game our toys. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for watching. Take care.